Hello, 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 ABNG. <laughs> welcome, my people. Welcome, my people. I know, I know, I know. It's been a while. It's been a while. How are you guys doing? I missed you all so much. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I missed you. You know what I'm saying? But the truth is, I've had to take care of my mental health. I've also had to take care of my family. I've had to, you know, go out there and make money. You know, first, let me tell you that it's going well, you know, and I know you guys are doing well too. But please, Please go in the comment section. Tell me how you're doing. Some of you that have missed me, let me see your faces again. Let me hear your voice, you know. And if you're in the ABNG notification gang on WhatsApp, oh, oh, now that we the enjoy pass because I think I spoke with you guys. Yeah, we chatted. We had a good time well, last month. And we're going to see how we can do another one soon. First of all, first of all, I'm coming into the ABNG notification gang because I feel like I'm not taking my life seriously. My management has been shouting at me that I haven't posted my nomination for actor influencer of the year by Pulse. I've been nominated, so that's like a thing, I guess. Like like for me, I don't know, like it's not a big thing for me because I'm just doing me, you know, I'm just doing my work. I feel like I don't regard, uh, I don't know how to say this, no shade, no insult, no pun intended, but uh, I appreciate award bodies that give awards based on merit, not popularity. And once I feel like something is becoming a popularity contest, I just feel like, nah. But yeah, I'm glad that I'm being recognized and that some people have said, oh, I think Aka is an actor influencer, you know? So yeah. Anyways, guys, how are you guys doing? I'm talking about the gang. And by the way, if you're not part of the gang, please make sure you join because it's been lit. I'm going to put the link to the WhatsApp group in the description box down below. So make sure you join if you want to. I don't ask for you guys to join in every video. So I'm opening it up again for you guys to join. So it can be more people. People are gonna have more fun. Also, I'm going to be posting the pulse nomination in the group. So if you guys want to vote for me, vote. If you don't want, it's fine. It's not like oh, I have to win it or I die. <laughs> Anyways, guys, happy new month to happy new month. I know, I know today's date, but since this is my first video of the month, I say make I greet you now. I mean, is anything bad, boy? Well, let's go straight into the news. It's been an interesting, should I say week or couple of weeks? Because as you all can tell, there's been a lot going on in real life and on social media space. Social media space has been carrying it. It's like we're all collectively grieving over a couple of things once again. And as ABNG, first of all, I'd like to honor the life of Ilario Lua Olatimeju Aloba, who was also known as Mobad, who sadly transitioned on Tuesday the 12th. Look, guys, I'm sure you guys have seen all the news. A lot has come out into the light since his demise, which has exposed a lot of oppression and bullying that has gone on in the music industry and in the hands of former record label management and to be honest like it's not like these things are like new things it's been going on for like ever but i just feel like now it's worse like the depth of the darkness and the treachery is deeper this has also really brought like scrutiny to the music industry and it's now obvious that behind the fast cars and the girls and the dollars there's a lot going on and it's almost like if you see a nigerian music artist who is like on the down low a young artist i mean you just want to give him a hug and just be like you'll be all right you sure you want to do this um you're going through a lot bro you know honestly i pray that bad gets the justice he deserves you guys go on the news i'm not doing like i don't think i have the range of the bandwidth to give you guys the entire news but i mean mobad was allegedly or is said to have been allegedly murdered by you know his former record legal management which included naira mali samilari who is the head of the agui rules in this particular town but those agui rules is not just agui rules like they are the ones that are linked to political thugs and i mean <laughs> but also linked to drug smuggling in and through Nigeria, basically to other countries and use artists to like also do it. So Naramali has been in this for like ever. He's even from the UK, allegedly I've heard that, you know, he's been doing it and, you know, he brings these young guys, recruits, they swear, they make all sorts of oaths and he mistreats them until they show loyalty. And even those who are loyal, I hear that he makes them addicted. All those things, man, it's crazy. I hear that and there is evidence that, you know, Naramali was mean to him and also Sami Larry. This one is not alleged, but there's evidence like that they were mean and, you know, it was crazy out there for him. But, you know, I feel like, and I pray that, I mean, in a country where there's lawlessness, where crime reaches to the very top, like in a country where the police aid and abet crime, where it is the police that are also involved with the, you know, the Yahoo boys, I mean, and then also the people in government. <sighs> 
allegedly from the president down because you can see photos and videos of these guys rolling with the president these are the guys that have been contracted to also use you know thugs and ugly rules for political seizure of power so at the end of the day you're just like can justice be served i just pray that mobad gets justice the justice that he deserves and all those who made life a living hell for him will be brought to book it's just sad and inhumane everything he went through i pray that mobad rests in peace and rests in power young king Anyways, on another light about, you know, sad but also encouraging news. Just this past Sunday, Grammy Award winner, songwriter, and gospel singer released a 35-minute documentary titled Father's Day, a Kirk Franklin story. Um, it's not Father's Day, so I was just curious and decided to watch. So when I say things are happening, man, guys, things are happening. Full disclaimer, I'm going to spoil this documentary for you. If you have not watched it, it means that you are going to hear the gist and I'll try not to spoil too much. Anyways, you can just watch it on your own <laughs> in Kirk Franklin's YouTube channel. Thanks. So, the gist is that Kirk Franklin found his biological father after 53 years of his existence here on Earth. It was really, 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 really emotional. Like, it was an emotional story because Kirk Franklin's father has always been there. Like, a stone throws away. He didn't even know. Uncle Kirk explained in the documentary that the man he found out to be his father only lived like houses away from his studio the same area where his son comes to play while growing up and it's just hard man like the man was so close yet so far yet not even there at all and Kirk Franklin has looked for this man forever I guess Kirk's mom had him really really young because he mentioned that he lived with a distant relative named Gertrude so growing up Uncle Kirk Franklin never even like lived with his mom he felt like he was an orphan because you know his dad was away he couldn't live with his mom he didn't know his dad at all life was tough these things just affected you know him growing up into childhood and these things affect children and Kirk Franklin was no exception cha 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 one time in 2017 his mom told him about one Woody Allen who claimed to be his father at the time you know the man was sick so Kirk Franklin had decided that oh let me go and visit him before he dies old. so he had a brief meeting before he passed away now later on rumors started flying around that one man and his mom used to date when they were very young and that he could possibly be Kirk's father something about them having the same hands and all of those through a family friend now they're looking at Rick they're looking at his ears they're looking at his eyes looking at his hands they're looking at his height and so the rumor mill kind of starts to happen in the church and then it gets the ears of Deborah. Deborah hears about that there's a man that could be Kirk Franklin's dad. Deborah finds my number, calls, leaves a message. First saved message. If you would like to talk to me about the rumor that is floating around out there, call back. Just remember, as I told you once, I will not lie to you about anything. The man, known as Rick Hubbard, took a swag and asked Kirk to use it if he chooses to confirm his paternity. Mr. Rick, on his own, he gets a DNA test, swabs himself, gives those swabs to my good childhood friend Melody, and says, hey, everybody's running their mouth. If Kirk wants to know if there's any truth to this or any possibility, he can take these swabs and do whatever he wants to do with them. Kirk did, and guess what, guys? Guess what? The results came back, and there was a 99.9% .9 match. Okay, so let me give you these results and not beat around the bush. It says the results are probable paternity 99.99999% percent. percent what? Yes, he's your father. As happy as this news was, this showed one thing. His mother lied to him, like for 50 something years about, and then, you know what, first, the mother lied that the other guy who Kirk met was his father, and she withheld vital information from her son for 53 years. Hey, women, wow. Well, it's not women. Men are women. Anyone has a capacity to be crazy, wicked, or mean. Anyways, Kirk visited her to ask about the news and she still denied it to him. I was like, ah, in the face of medical evidence? Why? Like, this new father accepted and said he was willing to support his son, you know, in any and every way possible. Sha, sha, sha. Kirk invited his mom and this new guy, who is his father, for a second test and results came back 100% positive guess what this woman still said it's a lie she denied the fact her sister was just like oh, oh dear bro don't say the truth say the truth well mama no grill she was like eh she sees the results but still not his father still not his father i can't imagine the frustration kirk must have been going through like i can't you just confess jesus did you take a vow of secrecy or what i'll be covenant did matter because it's not clear my dearest TBHs, why this matter 
not to clear. Anyways, Kirk has reconciled with his father. That's good news. And they are building a relationship one day at a time. But here's the powerful thing. Kirk himself has a son which he gave birth to when he was also very young. You see generational cycles. Oh my God. Like, geez. Black people have to be dedicated to breaking cycles. Anyways, he had a son when he was very young. And the truth is, they've had a rocky relationship for a while. I mean, they were in the news one time. They went viral. That their fight got messy and everybody was just like, frankly, he's not born again because of the, some of the words that he used on his child. But anyways, we we're just like, regardless of the fact, like just the way you acted, you should not have been acting like that. That was what people say. But anyways, I feel like now I understand. Men need fathers and examples to follow. You cannot give what you don't have. Hey! That shit. You cannot give what you don't have. Like, if you didn't have a good dad, if you didn't see good fatherhood, if you didn't have an example, if you did, weren't taught to be a man by a good real man, you cannot be who you are meant to be in the fullest potential as a man, as a father, and as an example in the society. So this time, Kirk, after having this thing with his dad, decided that, you know what, it was time for him. I mean, he and his son have been Cut, like he cut him off but this time Kirk went over to his place I mean to his son's place whose name is Kerian and he told to his son about his father and you know they got to talking and then somehow this dude just broke down in tears that moment was very priceless like maybe it was you never know what can get through to a person for one I wasn't expecting the reaction from him but it happened that was so powerful you all need to go watch the documentary for real guys because truly it was a father's day right now according to Uncle Kirk that served as a turning point in their relationship. They're rebuilding their relationship. So see guys, the impact of presence of a parent in a kid's life is important. I just wish people knew this so they wouldn't have to abandon their children or worse, disappear from their children's lives. I mean, and to the women that keep children away from their fathers or to the fathers that keep mothers away from their children for whatever reason, it's very evil because the child needs both to function. Look, single mothers out there who are not doing this intentionally, I know the struggle, I feel your pain, and I just want to say, look, God will honor you. I mean, there are single mothers out there who have had to become both mothers and fathers due to maybe the death of, you know, a partner or, you know, a partner willingly and willfully abandoning. And that's not on you. And God will honor you and help you to elevate the best of what you're doing, you know? But for me, like, I just feel like if a whole Kirk Franklin with all the successes, he's saying he has always suffered identity crisis, felt insecure, felt like he was supposed to not be in certain rooms. How will a person in similar circumstances without the successes feel? I mean, we just need to be breaking cycles of brokenness, you know? Especially in the black community. Children should never be weapons of war in a relationship. They should never be weaponized. They should be protected. Let the adults solve their issues and let the children Brief. If you are part of the over 1 million people who have watched this documentary on Kirk Franklin's YouTube channel, what are your thoughts? Come and, you know, just be your own in the comments section. You understand what I'm saying? You know how to matter be now. And if you've not watched it, please pop along and go and watch because I know it will inspire you. Please leave your comments too. Now, if you've watched this video to this point, you are the real MVP. You understand what I'm saying? I celebrate you. So quickly, quickly, before you go, please like this video give us a thumbs up you understand what i'm saying so more people can see it and you can share it with somebody you understand somebody you love you understand let it just you know watch this video and enjoy live all right guys thank you so much for watching please make sure you subscribe and share remember to always shine your light wherever you go you may be helping someone else find their way bye